How you doing, guys? Hi. Uh, today is May 10th. May 10th, all day. Uh, this week, I have some pickups and an S-ton of unboxings. Um, when people say they got a haul, <laughs> this is a haul. Get the whole building. Oh, yeah. I probably have... Uh, about 30 packages that came in the mail this week. So it's going to be a little crazy. I'm going to try to get it all in one video without going over 30 minutes. I don't want to make a super lengthy video. Uh, if I don't fit it all in this video, I'm going to add the balance of it till next week's video. And after we're done filming this, we're going to fill, uh, film the movie room tour to show you this room since it's complete and that will be dropping as a bonus video on Wednesday so let's just dive right in and I'll show you everything I got uh, first place I went to was Savers I went there last Saturday uh, to go see if there was anything there I needed to pick up and I found a couple of things so I was super excited to find some of these uh, first one I found is Mr. Baseball with uh, Tom Selleck. I haven't seen this movie in forever. I don't really remember it, but it was brand new factory sealed. Three security stickers again, but super happy to have that one. Next one was a History Channel documentary, Modern Marvels, the Coliseum. It's cool. Yeah, I like documentaries and... About the Coliseum. That sounds pretty cool. I'd like to check that one out. Next one. I used to have this on VHS. And it's a pretty funny movie. And that's uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. With uh, Steve Martin and Michael Caine. Again. Brand new factory sealed. Three security stickers. It looks like all of these came from the same place. Or the same person. Because they all have the same style sticker. They look like uh, BJ stickers. Next one is a movie I really like. Oh, I watched that a lot as a kid. And this is uh, The River Wild with Meryl Streep, Kevin Bacon, and uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not even going to hack it up. But this is a great movie. This is a, a fun watch. Again, brand new factory sealed. Only one sticker this time, but... Super happy to have it. It's the widescreen edition. But it's a great film. Happy to have that one. A lot of adventures in that. This one, like, I think, Rick. I've never seen this movie. And it's a classic one. I think it won Best Picture that year. And it is Citizen Kane with Orson Welles. It'd be a first time watch for me. I haven't seen this movie before. But, you know... I hear there's a, a lot of hype with this movie. So, you know, for right now, I have it on DVD. I know there's a, a criterion of this, but for right now, DVD is fine. If I really like the movie and I want all those special features, you know, maybe later on I'll get the criterion. But for right now, I'll check it out, see if I like it. Have uh, this DVD also. This one is brand new factory sealed also. So I found a lot more factory sealed stuff. Like the last time I went there, well, last two times, there's a lot of factory sealed stuff, and I think they put some more out that was in the back. I haven't seen this one either, and it's sticker free. Yeah. The next six titles, it was the first thing I found, and it was like, ooh, I found this. Somebody must have cleaned out their collection. And usually these are kids' titles, and they're usually coasters, but these are mint. And, I mean, there wasn't even dust on them, but I love Scooby-Doo. I've loved Scooby-Doo since I was a kid. I used to actually have a Scooby-Doo uh, Christmas sock for the fireplace. So this is Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. Did you call a stocking a Christmas sock? Yeah, a Christmas sock. <laughs> Christmas sock? Christmas <laughs> sock? I don't stocking. like the word stocking, but Christmas sock. But sock. super excited to have this one. I love Scooby-Doo. I got a bunch in my collection. This is Chill Out Scooby-Doo with a nice slip this slip actually has some glitter on it so it might have to get bagged just because i don't want glitter all over my shelves but we'll see 
Next one is Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. Again, with slipcover. But super excited to have that one. Nice foil slip. Next one. You almost dropped it. I almost dropped it. Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. For those of you that watched the last video, yes, he was on this side. But yeah. for his hand's sake and holding on to things, it's we'll a little try bit better. This side. We went back to the other side. Uh, next one is Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. Never seen that one. Never seen any of these, but super happy to have them. And Aloha Scooby-Doo. That is everything that I got from Savers. Like I said, it was a lot of good stuff there. I was super happy to find all that. Next thing. This is this is from Cinema Sickness. As everybody knows, Cinema Sickness is uh, Persian. His collection. Get rid of doubles, triples, quadruples. Dispersing his collection to other collectors. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much. Thanks a lot, CS. <laughs> we'll for it. finding a lot of good stuff. Uh, last week... I think I've bought in, I've already had two packages from him. This is package number three. Yep. There's a package number four somewhere in this pile. Yep. And there's a package five and six that are in the mail. So, but, bags. First thing, and I should save this for last because it's the best thing, but this is bed knobs and broomsticks. This is the... Steelbook. This is the UK steelbook with the, the quarter slip, as you can see. But this thing is mint. No scratches, no dents. It was a good price. I couldn't pass it up. It's from the, the CS collection. Oh, yeah. Then uh, <laughs> Iron Man with the slip on Blu-ray. I have Iron Man on DVD. DVD for a superhero movie? Yeah. That's why I had to upgrade, so... I'm super happy to have this one now. Uh, next one. Movie I didn't have in my collection. Last Quentin Tarantino I was missing. Jackie Brown. In this nice box. So, ah. We'll just say it. It's in there. It's in there. But it's a hard one to open. I don't want to make the video super long. Me trying to open Isn't up that the like box. Total or Raisin Bran? Yeah. No, Ragu. Ragu. It's yeah, in there. It's in there. <laughs> this is... Uh, the Halloween oh, tree. I love this movie. As a kid. And this is brand new, factory sealed, never opened. CS had a bunch of these copies on VHS. I know he had it. Other copies on DVD that had the, I think the Cartoon Network logo. But he had this one, brand new, factory sealed in his collection. So that's a fun movie. Oh yeah, happy to have that one in my collection now. Next one, movie I didn't have uh, a while back. Unbroken Cinema, more bags had this for sale and I missed out on this in part two I think uh down to movie aka the Rickster uh scooped it before I was able to message him but the Incredibles with a nice slip these are the newer slips that does the, the full face but not not the biggest fan of that style slip I like the one with the whole family on it but regardless I didn't have it in my collection I have it now I just gotta find part two I as well. I, I like the one with the family on it instead of just one face. Yeah. And then the last one. One. Oh. Get rid of the box. One that uh, CS had for sale twice. I missed out on it twice. And I finally got one in my collection. And I'm super excited. And that is the Incredible Hulk with a nice lenticular slip with the nice green case. I said, he's had this twice for sale, and both times I saw it, I messaged him, and he's like, it just, just sold. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And I have not bought this movie. I have this movie on DVD. I haven't bought in the Blu-ray just because I wanted this edition with the nice slip. It had to have the slip, and it had to have the green case. But I'm super excited to have, finally have this in my collection. So It's a cool one. Oh, yeah. I know they came out with the 4K. And I didn't want the 4K. I wanted that lenticular slip with that green case. I was determined to get it. <laughs> uh, next box. This came from... Cashews. Yeah. Snacks. Snacks. This came from Rhode Island. Mm. Next town, uh, next state over. 
Yeah, one movie in that box. One movie in that big ass box. Bubbles. Bubbles. But uh, this movie I've been looking for for a while. Uh, this was only a promo only that came with uh, Panasonic TVs. Um, the blue, the 3D Blu-ray actually comes with paper glasses, but the only way to get the actual 3D disc of it is with a Panasonic TV. And it's a 3D. Yeah. Coraline. Like I said, this is the actual Blu-ray uh, 3D, as you can see right there. No glasses, no nothing. On the back, it says right there, Panasonic exclusive. You know, for promotional use only, not for resale. But I'm super excited to have this one. This was uh, a tough one to find, except uh, to, especially to find it cheap. I got this one for six dollars with free shipping, so I was super excited to find that one. He wanted eight bucks. I offered him six. He took it. Next one. Yeesh. I know what this one is. This one came in the mail today, and. It's a 3D I need for the collection, and, um... I saw him in concert. It's one I'll never watch, but I know Maria will watch it, and it's brand new factory seal, and that is Kenny Chesney, Summer in 3D. This is the Good. 2D, 3D. There's actually a paper glass one of this that you have to watch out for. On the back, right there, it says Blu-ray... 3D. There's one that it doesn't say it, and the one that doesn't say it actually comes with the crappy paper glasses. So when you buy this, the only way the artwork on the front is identical. And if it wasn't for that one little thing right there, you won't know that you're getting the paper glasses. Oh, I'm one. so glad you're 3D savvy. So I'll actually watch this. Well, yeah, when it comes to 3D, I, yeah. I have to know my stuff because I've messed up and bought paper glass ones before, but. This is the true 3D, and like I said, it's brand new factory sealed. I got this for, this was eight bucks with free shipping. That's cool, yeah. Next one. Awesome. This one came in the mail today. You can toss your envelopes, you're doing good. I know. Uh, this one, I never heard of this movie, but I saw the trailer. I saw A guy put it up for sale for six dollars with free shipping. And uh, I like the cast. And... Um, I decided to go on YouTube and check out the trail. And this has a... Uh, oh, my God. I'm going to screw up her name. Uh, so, uh, Sosha Ronan, uh, Clay Blanchett, and Eric Bana. And it's uh, the movie Hannah. So, it is a knockout that will... <laughs> like nothing you've ever seen. A gripping... It's gripping and riveting. But... I've never heard of this movie until I just saw the trailer. But when I saw the cover, it looked interesting. And like I said, with the cast, it looked really interesting. So I really wanted to check it out. Uh, it has a bunch of exclusives on the back and everything. So super happy to have that one. Uh, next one. This one came in the mail today. Today also? This one came in the mail mm -hmm. today. I've passed... Yes. Yeah. It's a Disney and it doesn't yeah. have a slippy. Boo. But uh, this one, yeah. I've passed on it like four times because I find it for around the same price as I paid for this, but brand new. Uh, not brand new and no slip. And I've been looking for the slip because the slip on this one is a nice lenticular slip. And uh, But I got it for a good price with no slip, brand new. The lady wanted 16 and I talked it down to 13, and I was like, I'll take it for the 13 brand new. So, it's G-Force in 3D. Like I said, no slip, but it's brand new. So, I have some Disney movie rewards. And I'll have a code also that I can turn around and flip. I think this one has a code. But, like it. yeah, but, you know, I'll get it for a lot cheaper than if I found one with a slip. So, like I said, I'm not a slip Nazi. So, I'm just happy to actually have the movie in 3D, finally. One more closer to complete in the Disney 3Ds. Next one. This one's a tight one. This one's an upgrade. I have this movie on Blu-ray, so my Blu-ray with the slip is going up for sale. Because I just got the 3D. 
and I found it with a nice lenticular slip. And that is Hotel Transylvania in 3D with a nice slip that the girl changes into a bat. But I've seen it. It's a good movie. It's cute. Yeah. It would be cool in 3D, I bet. So in 3D, it'll be awesome. And like I said, with the slip, it's not brand new, but it's I got it for. Lenticular slip yeah, also. I got it for $7 with free shipping. So super excited to have that one. Next one. More. Another 3D for the collection. I didn't have this one. And again, not brand new, but I was happy to have it because I didn't have this in my collection. And it was one I was looking for. Again, no slip, but it was $6 with free shipping. And it was Clash of the Titans in 3D. The original Clash of the Titans, I love that movie. I watched it so much when I was a kid. Um, the remake, I've owned it. I have it on Blu-ray. So that's going for sale. I've owned it. I've never watched it. I think I've owned it for like five years. But uh, I'm finally going to check it out now that I have it in 3D. I heard it's not as good as the original. I think the original guy was Mark Hamill. No, not oh, Mark Hamill. Oh, that was the remake? Yeah, that's the remake. Mm -hmm. the I don't original. think I've seen either of them. Yeah, I have the original. Uh, next one. <gasps> this is a Marie package. Boom. I already know what it is. Brand new factory sealed. And it's... Oop, wrong one. Bambi. Yep. I don't have the artwork with uh, just their faces. I love that. Yeah, habit. this is the DVD of uh, the last release that they did. Um, it was 20 bucks at Target. Then it went on sale for $15. And this one never came with a slip. And uh, she found it on eBay. A guy had it for, what was it, 12 bucks? 12 or, yeah, I like to pay around 12. It was so, 12, it was 12, 12 bucks. bucks, brand new factory sealed. So another Bambi for the collection. So. Every few years they came out with a new Bambi release. So I, I can't remember every year, but yeah, I know the artwork. As we find them. Next one. This one came from, this one is a, a Best Buy. This oh. one. That was a bad toss. See what happens when I do it with my right hand. Toss. But this, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this movie came out on Tuesday. And I pre-ordered it because I wanted a 3D. You know, with 3Ds only pretty much coming out through Best Buy. I, I want to buy the new releases as they come out and pre-order them just to support them releasing the 3Ds because if nobody buys them and supports them, buying them, you know, releasing them, they're just going to stop doing it. So for me not to buy UK releases and to buy through Best Buy, I pre-order them as they're coming out. And I was happy to have this one. And that is the Lego Movie Part 2 in 3D. Didn't come with a slip. You know, that's kind of a bummer for a new release, but I don't care. Again, not a slip Nazi. To have the Lego 2 movie in 3D, I'm just happy to have it. Oh, no. Everything is awesome. Sing along. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sadly, I saw the first one. Yeah. It's right there. It was somewhat awesome. I, I haven't guess. I haven't seen the second one. The only Lego movies I've seen is... Uh, Lego Batman and uh, Lego Ninjago. I've seen both of those. Lego Ninjago, I still got to find in 3D. And then I'll have all the that Lego cool. movies in 3D. But Once you hear that song, Everything is Awesome, you can't unhear it. Every time you hear the Lego movie, that song will pop into your head. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know. Don't do it. Uh, this movie... This movie... Uh, Movie Edge, aka Mike Gallo, sent me uh, an Instagram DM and said, Hey, uh, I found this this uh, IMAX 3D movie on eBay and it's super cheap. And I looked at it, I was like, Oh, I don't have that. You know, thanks a lot. Mm. And I hurried up and I ordered it. And it was $6 and change with free shipping. And that is 
The Cave of Forgotten Dreams in 3D. This mm -hmm. is the Blu-ray, 3D, Blu-ray, all on one disc. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Four stars. <laughs> but I didn't have this movie. I didn't even know about it. This one, uh, who narrated this one? Ba, 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 ba. Why would it tell you? I don't know. No, it, do, it doesn't have a, it's not narrated, so it's more like a documentary. Looks like uh, four guys that are going uh, spelunking. So, it looks pretty cool. I want to check that one out. Next one. This one came from, uh, uh, this one came from McCarty. This one's been hey. actually, sorry. This one's actually been sitting for a while. And um, they came out with a 4K with the 3D on it. And then they came out with the 3D by itself. So I wanted to pick this one up. And that is Stalingrad in 3D. As you can see right there. Includes the Blu-ray 3D version. <laughs> but this one looks pretty cool. It has a, a lot of explosions and everything. Big explosions and better theatrics. And it works. A the film is gorgeous. I've never seen this movie. Uh, I remember somebody picked this up and it looked interesting then. So I wanted to check it out. I'm happy to have it. So adding that one to the collection. Next one. This is, oh, this is from. You get too many packs, you forget yeah. what you got. This one's from Bull Moose. Uh, these are two new releases also that came out. I wanted to get both of these movies. One Best Buy had, the other one Best Buy did not have. And when I looked online, all the Best Buys around here had one copy. One copy. And it's like, it's a new release. How can you only have one copy of the movie? And it's just pretty much Best Buy just getting away from keeping media in their stores. And they just go after the... The big, you know, releases and anything that's not the big of uh, a bigger of release, they only have one copy. So I was just like, "F Best Buy." I'm pretty much gonna buy it from Bull Moose. I had thirteen dollars and fifty cents in Bull Moose credit, so I pretty much bought one and got the other one for free. And the first one is "Dragged Across Concrete" with the slip. <laughs> This Dragged is concrete. That's concrete. Yeah, it has Mel Gibson, Vince Vaughn, uh, Jennifer Carpenter, um, Tori Killis, and it's from the same director as Bone Tomahawk and uh, Brawl on Subwalk 99. Ooh. So I'm super excited to watch this. Both of those movies I really like. I like that gritty, grindhouse kind of style film. So super excited to have this one. I really wanted it. I enjoyed Brawl on Subwalk. This movie is the one that Best Buy didn't have and what pretty much made me go to Bull Moose. So thank you, Best Buy, for helping out Bull Moose. And uh, that is Miss Bala with uh, Gina Rodriguez. Empowering, inspiring, and just so damn fun. An intense and thrilling ride. As you can tell with this one, it is not brand new factory sealed anymore because I watched it. This movie was really good. It's a, a revenge style film. If you like revenge films, you're gonna you'll like this one. It's a I'm good sorry. film. It has a good premise. It's not brand new factory scene because I watched it. Yeah. Just the way you said it, man. But uh it was a really good film, you know. If you like revenge style films, you like a lot a lot of action, a good story, I uh recommend checking this one out. Next one. This one came from, uh, this one came off of eBay. I found this one. This one was pretty cheap. It was $6.95 for free shipping. I didn't have it in my collection. And it's another IMAX 3D and it's dolphins and whales. Uh, Tribes of the Ocean. Narrated by Daryl Hannah. So... That one's pretty cool. Mm, and this yeah. one is 42 minutes. That looks so, familiar. Yeah. To me. Yeah, it does. 
You'll find out later on, people, whoever's <laughs> watching the video. But super cool. Super uh, happy to have this one. Uh, Marie, when it comes to ocean and 3D, that's her favorite. So she loves ocean ones. That's why I wanted to jump on this one because she likes the ocean 3D ones. And especially in IMAX. And there you go. Next one. This one is from McCarty. I almost bought this at Newberry Comics because it was, it was. Uh, I'm gonna put you back on this side. They had it used, and it was. They wanted twenty bucks for it. And I was like, I'm not paying twenty bucks, Ooh. especially with no slip. And then uh, I know. Tell me about it. No slip. And then uh, eBay, same thing. They wanted around the same. They wanted around seventeen bucks with no slip. And I was just like, no, I'm not paying that again. But this person had it for fifteen dollars on McCarty with free shipping, and I offered him ten bucks. Especially because it wasn't didn't have a slip. And I was like... He's like... Mm. No. It was less than that. It was... He wanted... Yeah. Ten bucks. So I was just like... I'm picking it up. And that's Ant-Man in 3D. This was one of the 3Ds that is pretty common of the Marvel films. But to find it for a cheap price... I never find it for a cheap price. So I'm happy to have that one now in the collection finally. In a black case. In a black case. So, that's cool. Next one. This one is from eBay. Not Amazon? No, eBay. You're going to take out my face. No, okay. I'm just buzzing you. A gift for you. Again. I like horror. She likes horror. Not as much as I do. No, not but as much. But she likes underwater. And she likes 3D in underwater. So, bait in 3D. Nice killer shark in 3D. And it's horror. It's probably like uh, It Follows. Uh, not It Follows. The Shallows. Piranha? But, no. Yeah, or Piranha. But probably not as good. Because this was super cheap. I forgot how much I paid for it. But... Because this was one of the first things that came in. But to have it brand new factory sealed. Super happy to have this one. The ultimate predator in terrifying 3D. So. Looks pretty cool. I'd like to check that one out. Next one. What time are we at? 27 minutes. No, I was just looking. This one came from Sarah's Films. Sarah's Films put up that uh, she was going to be putting some stuff up. For sale. Um, and if I wanted to uh, send a DM. And she put it on Instagram for anybody. And there was a couple of titles I wanted. So I hurried up and uh, DM'd her and said I want these. So. Thank you. Yep. So there was four titles I picked up from her. And this one was one I never had in my collection. And that is Return to Oz with Farazul Blog. I saw this a long time ago. I don't really remember it. But I'm happy to have it in the collection. Like I said, DVD, I'm fine with that. Next one. But if it comes out in 3D, your 3D film. Yeah, I will. I'll drop that thing like a rock for the 3D. But uh, this one, I heard is hot trash. <laughs> but it's a Kevin Smith film. I like Kevin Smith films. I pretty much have to buy them if I, if, uh, I don't have them. And that is Yoga Hosers. With the slip. She had it for a good price. It you know, has uh, Harley Quinn Smith and uh, Johnny Depp's daughter. Uh, Lily Rose Depp. So, I want to check it out. Like I, heard, like I said, I heard it was garbage. But, I want to check it out regardless. Next one. It was a horror movie. I heard mixed reviews on it. But, I want to check it out. It's the director's unrated cut. That is wished upon. No slip, but don't care. I'm just happy to have it. And the last one she had, this movie's out of print. You can actually get it, a region free copy on Blu ray for, I think it's $28 on eBay. But I wanted the, the US release and I was happy with just a DVD, and that is Drop Dead Fred. I loved this movie when I was a kid. I used to watch it all the time when it was on TV and the VHS. So, to finally have it back in my collection on DVD, I'm happy with that. I was wondering if that was uh, like the Wishmaster. Wish upon. 
I have no idea. I said, be careful what you wish for. And we're right at 29 minutes. You want to do another one or cut it? I'll okay. Time. We're going to call it right here. And that is pretty much everything that I'm gonna, did it. <clears throat> that I'm going to show off. You got like eight, nine more still. All these packages, uh, it's probably like 10 packages. All 10 of these will have to wait till next week. Our poor mailman. Yeah. Our mailman pretty much <laughs> hates us. He said to me on Saturday, he goes, you've been really keeping me busy carrying all these packages to the house. I'm like, sorry, dude. <coughs> That's your job. <coughs> so. <coughs> have another one. Oh, yeah. I just coughed up a bunch of dust. <laughs> but. It's sitting over there. <coughs> probably the mailman. He, po he poisoned my packages with anthrax and it just blew up in my face. But, uh. That is everything that I'm going to show this week. Like I said, we're going to, we want to cut this at 30 minutes because um, I'm going to be doing my movie room tour. That's oh, going to yeah. be a bonus video. And the other 10 packages I'll show next week. I actually have more stuff coming in the mail. I have... Cinema Sickness. Yeah, Cinema there. Sickness will be here Tuesday. Monday, Monday or Tuesday because the, the date changed. I have a grail that I've been wanting in my collection. And since I first heard this was being released, I wanted it. And I finally found one cheap after multiple tries. And that will be here Monday or Tuesday. And I'll give you a hint. It's coming all the way from Japan. So that's all I'm going to say about that one. But that will be here Monday or Tuesday. It just cleared customs in California. So, And I have a couple other things that are coming in. But that's all on the show. If you liked this video please hit the like button hold that right there mm -hmm. if you didn't like it sorry we'll try again next time um if you want to leave any comments about anything that i showed you you know what what movies are pretty good what movies you didn't care for that much you know let us know and this is pretty much everything that we're showing this week. Not everything that we picked up. But we got a, a big pile of. Movies. Like I said. There's probably like. 30 movies there. But. Uh, if you want to see more from us. Or you want to see part 2. Or the movie room tour. That will be dropping on Wednesday. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You know. Come back. Hang out with us for a while. Have a you laugh. Know. Yeah, have a laugh. We're funny. <laughs> or funny looking. The guy Take throws. A pick. Yeah, whatever. But uh until next time guys. Bye. Bye.